Hey, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Gaming News, what's going on with Starfield's DLC? It seems like it might be rubbing some players the wrong way. Well, Bethesda's design director has some words for them. Plus, PS Plus games in October and Silent Hill 2 remake modders are already altering their survival horror experience. All this in your daily fix. <laughs> All right, now Starfield's DLC Shattered Space was meant to resuscitate Bethesda's 2023 new IP, but it seems the DLC has been met with mostly negative user reviews on Steam. Now, complaints have ranged from the DLC having a boring design to a lack of value to the overall narrative and gameplay. And now Bethesda's design director decided to take to Twitter to respond to user sentiment on its DLC in the game as a whole. Quote, maybe it's a game of expectations. Fans want a lot and we do all we can to accommodate them. Here's what I can tell you. Nobody, and I mean nobody at Bethesda, is patting themselves on the back while ignoring our players. Now, this was in response to a fan suggesting Bethesda doesn't really hold its fan base's opinions too highly, being dismissive of their concerns around Starfield. Now, the design director went on to assure fans that the company is in fact listening to its community to fix anything that may be an issue that players notice. Now, one thing the design director said that I really want to take aim at is, quote, most of the quests and levels were done by designers who have worked on previous Bethesda games and DLCs going all the way back to Morrowind. And that, that right there might be the issue players are frustrated with. Maybe it seems to some that Bethesda hasn't necessarily evolved its formula and quite possibly feels it's a bit outdated. Or maybe it's the exact opposite for some. Maybe it feels like Bethesda has deviated too far from what made its previous entries so well received by players and fans. I don't know, but uh, I'd love to know what y'all think about all this. Comment and let's discuss. All right, moving along, just days since it launched, the Silent Hill 2 remake is already getting a makeover on PC. Now there's the typical performance and quality of life tweaks hitting Nexus mods, but also a few odd ones. As the name suggests, check this one out. The Hair Sheen Removal No More Oil mod removes the shine from James's head to make it less distracting. Now, I'm personally not even staring at this man's hair, though it's probably because I have James wearing that Mira the Dog mask that comes with the deluxe edition, so can't even see the top of this man's head. But something tells me if you're kind of the player who finds his hair distracting, a giant dog mascot head might make things even worse. Silent Hill 2 already has eight endings, but I guess it didn't have enough split ends for some. Now, the mod that I really, really like, and I think a lot of people will, will like, is the one that allows you to play as the original PS2 character model of James Sunderland. The modder Norsk PL did a phenomenal job with this one, and it's definitely one I personally plan to install. It would be cool if they did that with other notable characters that are in Silent Hill 2. Now, there's also a mod that allows you to turn off fog, something Konami did in the 2012 HD collection, that made everyone mad. Why would you want to recreate that? I have no idea. Now you can also make Silent Hill bright and sunny, which you know kind of defeats the purpose of the whole game, and it kind of makes it easy for you to see those eerie monsters, I guess. I don't know. But you can check out the rest of these mods on nexusmods.com. Now, we also got some new old games coming to PlayStation Plus's catalog in the month of October. Now, if you're looking to take a vacation filled with souped up zombies, Dead Island 2 is the game for you. Now, keeping up with the spooky vibes in the month of October, you can also hop into the Dark Pictures anthology, The Devil in Me. Now, for those more adventurous, Return to Monkey Island will fill you with clever puzzles, bizarre scenarios, and harrowing adventures. Now for those looking to, I guess, whiz around in vehicles with sirens that park at fire stations, Ghostbusters, Spirits Unleashed, and Firefighter Simulator The Squad are coming to the PS Plus catalog. Just make sure y'all don't cross the streams in either game. 
and the classic survival horror Dino Crisis will find its way onto the PS Plus subscription service, which we can only hope, we can only hope and pray that this might lead to a remake one day. Now to check out the full list, please head on over to IGN.com. And finally, I want y'all to do me a favor and check out the IGN Opera browser. The browser specifically designed for gamers like you. It's got direct Discord and Twitch connectivity, built-in ad blocking and VPN, plus IGN content directly built into the browser. And you can control CPU, RAM, and network usage with ease. And above all else, keep what you do private. So yeah, go check out the Opera browser. And that was your daily fix. I'm Akeem, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, and if you're feeling that whole, that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero hype, please check out this Dragon Ball Z feature. Pretty much just talking about the long journey to getting the Dragon Ball Z franchise here in the US. I think you're gonna love it. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.